Hi guys, Terry here. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I want to go over the letter Q in my A to Z craft room organization series. And um, I picked Q. Well, Q was the next letter and I decided to pick uh, foil quilling. So um, this is a product that We Are Memory Keepers came out with, I think last year in 2019. And um, it's made for all the different um, electronic cutting machines. And I think what I'd like to do today is show you how I store the um, components that go with this tool. And then um, I want to do you a quick demo of what we can do with this um, on my Cricut. So let's get started. Okay, so the foil quill that's made by We Are Memory Keepers comes with... Um, this pen that then you plug into an electronic source and it will get hot and when that pen is hot it's going to do the shape that you've told it to draw and it um, does it onto this foil and then this foil the shape that you draw gets put onto your uh, cardstock or whatever your project is so um, the the pens itself there's a there's a um, a small one and a medium and a large one and um, this one's the medium one there's a kit that came with all three but from the reviews that I saw there wasn't a lot of difference so I maybe would buy the the medium one or even the bold one um, but I don't think you need all three so um, the way this works is it comes with attachments and it's got them for the silhouette the Brothers Scan and Cut, the Cricut, and um, the Sizzix Eclipse. And um, I'm going to do it on my Cricut. So this um, just goes on to here. And this attachment is making it so that the pen holder will um, hold this uh, heat instrument. And then there's a variety of different foil um, sets that you can buy. They've got them in these smaller sheets. I think these are, yeah, these are four by six sheets. They come in a variety of colors. And the thing that you have to make sure you do is get heat activated foil. So it's very important that it's heat activated. Um, and then it comes in these larger sheets too. So I bought this gold. So this roll is um, 12 inches by 96 inches. So a good size roll. And um, you also can buy designs, this is just a regular USB, but they have a USB that has uh, shapes on it. Um, if you have the monthly subscription to Cricut, I don't know that you need to buy their shapes. They had some really cute shapes. I think the thing to keep in mind about the shapes is um, a lot of shapes aren't made for drawing, and they have specifically come up with ones that are cute shapes for um for, for drawing stuff. But a lot of Cricut shapes, you can just tell it to draw. And I'll show you inside the software how to set it to draw. Okay, so those are, oh, and it also comes with this little, um, almost looks like a presser foot, this little thing. So this goes underneath the pen so that you are, um, as the pen is heating up, you're keeping your mat protected from the heat until you're ready. And then you remove this and then you can tell it to draw. So this is good for, um, I've also seen people use um, craft mats, um, you know, or some kind of silicone so that the heat isn't touching the mat till you're ready. So, um, so as far as storing these different products, so for my Cricut um, attachments, I keep them in this little, um, this little box here and I'll have links to Amazon. I'll try to find these products on Amazon and have a link links on my website. But I keep all my different uh, Cricut stuff. So my tools, my pens, my blades, cables. Um, I have it all inside here. So um, these little guys here came inside here. I just keep the extra ones in here and that way I just have my stuff in here this rolled up in here and then that way I've just got it on the shelf and then as far as the foil I have the foil stored well I have the foil along with my um, 
vinyl iron-on and smart vinyl in this IKEA box. So this box here holds um, regular size fi um, file folders. So I have samples of different colors of vinyl in the front here and then I have my rolls and I've just got a bunch of different colors in here and then I've also got the smart vinyl for my Cricut Joy. So um, this box work is working well. Um, I may outgrow the box for now. Um, you know, it just holds all of these. I can put these down inside a file folder in the front. Um, but at least I know this is where my um, vinyl, if I'm looking for, you know, my iron-on materials or my vinyls, um, it's in this box. And then this is just, this box fits inside the Calyx unit. So, so that's working well for storing that. So, um, and then nearby I keep my case that has the tools. So let's get started making something. I want to show you how this product actually works. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take a piece of the foil, and it's super thin and very staticky. Put that aside. And I think the best thing to do you want to make sure that you don't get this stuck on your Cricut mat. So you want to make sure that you've got it down on your paper. And we're going to actually tape it flat. So I think what I'm going to do is cut my um, cardstock to 4 by 6 so that I can almost uh, wrap that around the cardstock here. Because if you get this stuck to your mat, um, I can't imagine the mess that's going to make. Plus, it's going to remove and waste the foil on here. So we'll just go like this. I'm taping it down with some purple tape. I'm just going to do this around the edges. You want to pull it so it's really flat because it's going to be drawing and you don't want there to be any hiccups. So I'm going to do it around all four sides here. And then I think next I'll show you the software. Well, before I show you the software, let me show you how we load the pen in the machine because we want that to start heating up. Okay, so we've got our cardstock with this pulled tight and taped down. So let me show you um, how to load the pen. So to load the pen, we've put the proper uh, brand of pen holder on here. And you've got to use a machine that has the pen holder. And this, you put your finger underneath and pop out the pen holder that came with the Cricut machine. Set that aside. And then drop this down into the pen holder and then we're going to plug this into a power source so if you have the Cricut Maker there is a USB port on the Cricut Maker um, I do not so I'm going to use a power bank so I'm going to plug that in here in a second um, the other thing that I'll mention is this is not made by Cricut um, I think Cricut has come out with a new one I'm not too sure about that but um, this will void your warranty, but remember that your warranty only lasts for one year. So if you've had your Cricut machine for longer than a year, um, there is no more manufacturer's warranty on it. Um, but I do want to tell you that if you have a new machine, be careful of using stuff that's not made by Cricut. Um, but I'm not aware of anybody having problems with this. Um, so then we will we'll put our um, heat protection underneath that foot and then I'm going to plug it into the power source. So while that's heating up we're going to go over to the Cricut software and I'll show you how to make sure that you're drawing with your design. So let's do that. Okay so let's open up the Cricut software and start a new project and then I want to, I want to search for an image 
um, that is something, you know, pretty special. So what I'm doing is I'm going into images on the menu here. And then what I like to do is go into the ones that I are that are either free or ones that I have purchased. So here's one here. And um, I'm going to click on that image and then insert onto my mat here. And then I know that my card stock is uh, four by six, so I don't want to go any larger than that. Okay, and I don't want to put it too close to the edges. So that looks pretty good there. So notice up here that the it defaults to um, a cut line. So notice that we could set it to draw, but then I noticed today, and I hadn't been in the software for a while, so I don't know when they added this, there's a foil option here. So I'm going to say foil and medium because that's the uh, blade, the, the pen that I have is the medium one. So notice the shape change to that. So that's what it's actually going to draw on my um, Cricut Explore. So that looks pretty cool. So now I just have to click on make it and it's ready for me to load my mat. I'm going to make sure that my pen has heated up and then um, load the cardstock. So we'll do that step next. Okay, so I have made sure that my um, heat pen, that, that the pen is heated up here. I just did a little sample on my cardstock here. And um, I've got my pen plugged into this that I got from Amazon. It's called Gulu. Um, it actually has uh, jumper cables with it. So for the cost of a power bank, um, it came with jumper cables that if I ever need to jump my car. So I love that about it. It's compact. It fits in the front of my um, glove box. So I'll have a link on that to my website. But yeah, I've got this plugged in. The pen has heated up sufficiently. And then looking at my mat here, I just want to have this up in this upper corner. And I know that I haven't gone past the four inch mark. So I'm just sticking my card stock to my mat, pushing it down here. And then I'm going to load it. take the little metal foot away. Um, this did not get warm, so that's good. Um, so then let's on the computer click continue. This is such an intricate design, you really have to keep the uh, foil uh, tight on the cardstock. So we'll see what this turns out like. I'll just show you on the computer. It's telling us how far we are. That's going to be really cool. So I'll add too that you want to have the um, power source close to your Cricut machine um, because this cord has to travel across your page and it is not a very long cord. I mean I'd say it's only about 20 inches long so um, keep that in mind and as I said you could have it plugged into the uh, Cricut Maker. But I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's got it complete. But it is looking amazing. It's about a third of the way done. And um, I'm noticing that I should have taped all the way around my foil because when it went to draw that upper line, 
um, it kind of pulled a little bit on the corner of the foil. So be sure to tape all the way around. But it's looking great. percent okay it's just about done 96 percent how it looks. So what we want to do is remember that the pen is hot so we don't want to touch that to anything. So I'm going to take it off the mat here and then I'm going to put that back underneath there just so we don't touch anything. But look at this. Okay so that's what it looks like on the foil. Let's see what it looks like on the cardstock because that is just amazing. All right, let's take it over and peel it off. Okay. I've used it to draw words like hello and thank you. But I haven't done a design like this before, so. Oh, that looks great. That looks really neat. I don't know if the camera is focusing or not. But you can see that it has a shine to it. And it looks really good. That is so neat. Quite the design. So I didn't have it taped down over here in the corner, but when it drew those lines, um, it looked like it was kind of skipping when it was drawing it on the mat, but you really can't tell. So it really looks good. So anyways, I hope this showed you that, um, oh, oh, so one more thing I want to mention. When we were on the computer, let me take you over there. When we were um, on this shape here, and I showed you that the type of drawing here, instead of cutting it, it normally defaults to cutting it like this, and then we changed it to uh, foil medium, and it flipped to that. This must be for the Cricut, uh, the new Cricut foil system. So if you're using the We Are Memory Keepers, you've got to just put it on draw. Because I waited for about seven minutes when it said it was processing it and sending it to the Cricut, it just sat here. So it must be getting some signal from the Cricut. Um, you know, I'll, I'll look this up and have it on my web post, but um, there must be something. So I, what you need to do is change this to just drawing it, which is what you always did. You just did draw and then you use the quill pen to, um, to do the drawing. So that was the only thing different, and then you hit go. So um, I'll find out some more about the Cricut one. Um, in a future video, but uh, I just wanted to let you know that you do draw and then use that pen as what you're drawing with. So, thanks guys. I hope you appreciated this video. Um, subscribe so that you see the next, uh, the rest of the series of the A to Z uh, craft room organization tips. So, thanks guys. Bye.